Welcome back to the Betaflight F3 flight controller video series. In uh, the past videos I showed you how to wire in your receiver and get it connected. The next video was how to add in a camera and video transmitter to the built-in on-screen display and power the two. And uh, now it's just time to wire this into our multi rotors It's a very simple thing to do, self-explanatory, but I figured I'd make a video on it anyway just in case there are any uh, additional questions or confusion. So what I've done so far is gone ahead and measured out my wires and soldered the uh, XC60 with the main battery lead onto the flight controller. Just remember that ground is on top and power is on the bottom. You also want to double check to make sure that no solder is contacting these pins on either side. After that I just placed the flight controller uh, where it normally goes and then measured out some wire. I cut it a little bit longer than what I need just to be sure. Normally I would solder these wires onto the ESCs first and then measure out and uh, you know, solder them to my PDB. But because this has the PDB built in and the pads are on the bottom side, uh, instead what I'm going to do is solder these wires on first to the flight controller and then the ESCs. I've now pre-tinned all the pads on my flight controller as well as the uh, ends of my wires. Now I'm just going to solder them on. All the wires are now soldered on. One tip I have though is if you are going to put a capacitor on this, go ahead and do that now. Also, if you are going to use ESC covers or a heat shrink, then go ahead and do that now. Completely ignore this PDB. Uh, I don't need it. It's just it's for something else. It has nothing to do with this flight controller. So like I said, soldering the wires onto the flight controller and then the ESCs allows me to get the wires or the links of the wires just right. Uh, also, I recommend using uh, some sort of zip tie or something on your main battery lead because as I said in my review for this flight controller if you rip any of these pads off then the flight controller is now trash you can't fix pads now I will go through and work on the small signal and ground wires going to the ESC's okay all the little wires are on uh, one tip I have here is I always wrap mine around uh, the main negative two to three times because if these small signal wires and ground wires were running straight from the ESC straight to the flight controller, whenever you crash through tree branches, the branches tend to snag them off and rip them off the pads. So that's why I wrap it around. I don't recommend wrapping it around the power wire because that will affect the signal. Okay, fast forwarding to the next day. This is what it looks like complete. It's a very clean installation. Uh, I flew this thing all day yesterday. Zero problems. I I just love the, the clean installation, the simple build, and of course the built-in OSD, uh, that's great. Didn't have to take my laptop with me to the field, I changed my PIDs, rates, expos, everything uh, through the OSD menu. Overall, I really like it. So that's going to do it for today, thanks for watching, I'll see you again soon.